discuss about the upcoming new Angular 15 feature. So this is what we know so far. The first one is IV landmark. So basically it is going to make Angular ultra fast and we already know that Angular 14 is having IV and it is pretty fast, right? The second one is additional performance improvements. Third is mistyped banana in the box fix. I'll tell you what it is. It looks funny, but it is really awesome. Easier lazy loading. Uh, I think you, you got it already because Angular's lazy loading syntax is very hard to remember and they are going to make the change for the third time I guess. Dynamic route uh, router outlet names, component scoped keyframes. Wow, this one is really awesome. I really wanted to dig deeper into, into this one. So let's discuss about these things. So what is new in the Angular 15 so far? So Angular had some uh, rough path lately with the news that Angular JS is deprecated and dead. People understandably believed it but Angular is actually far from being dead. The 14th version of the most popular framework scores some major improvements actually but today we will focus on the version 15th and that's the around the corner it is planned to be released just in a month on 18th of november of 2022 so the first feature that is coming in this release is iv landmark so which is going to make angular ultra fast so if you are not familiar with the angular saga so while it is the best framework to focus on uh, user experience. For years, it has suffered from bad build performance compared to the lightweight libraries like React. An astonishing effort to get back on track revolved around almost completely rebuilding the re rendering engine. The new one called IV was a project for years. Along the way, Angular had to had been striped from hot module reload. So fortunately, IV made it through and latest version of Angular offers comfortable build and rebuilds. Hot modules reload is also easier to enable. So your I will become one and only rendering engine, giving exceptional experience to the developers. So we, this is going to be really awesome, right? So second thing is additional performance improvements. Aside of IV and HMR, we already know and love in the process of creating version 15 developers introduced additional performance improvements. So far, each external template was passed uh, multiple times for each reported type checking diagnostic uh, accounting to memory usage so they basically fixed uh, this defect here you can see that so cache source file for reporting type checking diagnostic so this fix which is introduced uh, as a cache for template that improved the speed of the memory usage of type checking it was also backdropped in the version 14.2 but it is going to fix in the 15th version. So mistyped banana in the box, third one. Another feature that caught my attention is about the banana in a box. Banana in a box is a term described the syntax of two-way binding in Angular template. You have surely seen it multiple times, but didn't know the name. It looks like this. Yeah, ng model. You might have used many times. So parenthesis with the ng model from a banana and square bracket symbolize a box where the banana is stored. Unfortunately, sometimes people write the same code in the different order. They put parentheses outside and the box inside like this. So it gives a lot of errors. The fix will report such issues and offer a fix through language services that is by adding the IDE example Visual Studio code. So if you're interested in writing similar dev friendly features, check out this commit. It is quite interesting to read among the fact that the banana in the box now become an official term used in the Angular source code. The fourth one is easy lazy loading. We already know the lazy loading syntax is really bad, not bad, I mean it is a little complex uh, and they have changed it twice actually but now it is going to change for the third time I believe and it is going to be very easy now. So here you can see in this example auto unwrap a default export when lazy loading so this defect basically fix this issue so after this fix it should satisfy people who like ongoing effort of angular to write less boilerplate usually when you load components or children in a route you have to select what to load fortunately with earlier introduction of default export it is clear what component should be loaded the change takes default exports into account and just loads what is necessary <clears throat> so here is the example you can see this is how it's going to look like the next one is dynamic router outlet names so if you look into this particular uh, defect which is being closed make router outlet name an input so it can be set dynamically so with this fix they have fixed this issue so basically this commit uh, is going to uh, be the part of angular 15th branch so the practical result is that now you can bind it to a variable for example from a for loop before it was not possible 
making it difficult to write robust elastic component this example from the uh, test case shows the game changer here so this is how you're going to write it within the for loop now the router outlets we are going to pass the outlet as a input parameter so the next thing is component scoped keyframes this one is really important so for a long time there was a problem with the css frameworks like they didn't seem to be component scoped it may feel really bad multiple times in my life when they leaked or were overlapped by others keyframes with the same name so basically if you're going to have the keyframes in with the same name in multiple components even they are two different components if the, but the keyframe name is same they still overwrite so it was an, a not unknown to the angular team so the debate was uh, how to tackle these issues it is running since 2019 so with this version 15th of angular a definitive solution was made i believe the decision is good uh, the keyframe name will be prepended with the host component selector now keyframes will follow component scoping we love in angular so here you can see that the defect has been closed now so now basically keyframe will follow component scoping we love in angular word of notice has to be made here the change can break your code when you rely on a global aspect of keyframes defined in a component if you do you have to move them into global style shape because this is going to be breaking change that's it if it comes to the most important changes so far in angular 15 line other changes may include are uh, like canfres replaced by analyzer a mandatory hint parameters in parse improved image warnings using document token to query pre-connect links renamed raw source ng source in ng optimization image directive making sure that the use animation functions delay is applied support of has invalidated resolutions and much more. as you can see that uh, there is a lot of changes in angular 15 and uh, we are far from seeing all of them since it is only the next 0.5 version that was released in uh, <clears throat> 5 10 2022 so thank you guys thank you so much for watching this video that's all for today and i hope you have learned something today and if you did please don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel and pressing the bell icon because i always keep uploading this type of content and uh, you will get the notification as soon as i upload any new video so thank you guys thank you for time have a good day bye take care